Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review and today I got two pretty nice mods to review for you guys. First up we'll be taking a look at the new Leader NL345 Dry Fertilizer Spreader version 1.0. File size for that is 24 megabytes. Then we'll be taking a look at the John Deere Timber Runner version 1.18. File size for that is 15.55 megabytes. So what I'm going to do is explain a few things regarding these mods. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs. Then I will get them out on the field and test them on out for you. So let's get started. This is the new Leader NL345 Dry Fertilizer Spreader version 1.0. The fall size for this is 24 megabytes. Price in the shop is $135,000 with a $0 a day maintenance fee. The required power to pull this is 238 kilowatts and 385 horsepower. The work width of this is 32 meters, very impressive. A work speed of 20 kilometers an hour, very nice. And a capacity of 13,500 liters. So let's take a little look at this and we'll compare it to the one that's in the shop because I do believe this has a lot more to offer than the one that's in the vanilla version. Uh, that would be under fertilizer spreaders. There it is there. So let's compare it to this guy over here. 32 meters, 24 meters. So yeah, a lot more there. That only holds 20,000 liters. This is able to hold, okay, this one actually holds more. Require power, 385. And here it does not mention it. And it costs a lot more money. <laughs> Very nice looking though. Look at the tires on this guy. Look at the size of that thing. Let me get rid of my speed here. Very nice looking. I love those tires. This thing's a beast. I love the work speed and the uh, and the work width. Jeez, it would take a lot to change those tires. Look how many bolts there is. Wow. Very nice. So we'll be testing that out momentarily. Okay, next up, we got a really nice log trailer here. This is the John Deere Timber Runner version 1.18. Fall size for this is 15.55 megabytes. Price in the shop is $17,000 with a $10 a day maintenance fee. Let's go over to the shop that's going to be located under forestry equipment. There it is right there. And I do believe, yes, this is the one you can take standard or wide tires. Change the rim color. That's the John Deere yellow right there and you can choose from all these other colors as well this is not an auto load trailer that's the only downside to this but it's great for people that don't use the auto load feature okay let's take a little look around at this very nice beefy tires on it got them in the John Deere yellow rims it's not gonna hold full-size trees I don't know I mean, it could take eight meters I'm not sure but we'll find out that you can't extend these or anything it is as is except you can change the uh, from Y tires and the rim color. So yes, I'll go get a few things set up guys and we'll test these on out. Okay, let me jump in my Veltra here, start it on up and we'll grab this guy and get him filled up with some fertilizer. By the way, this is being tested out on the Cherry Hills map and we have a fermenter that makes dry fertilizer so we don't have to fill it with pallets. We're actually going to go ahead and teleport on over to the BGI, just across the street. So with the N key, you can lower that on down. You can see the inside there. Beacons work, lights work. I forgot to show you that. Let me do that right now. There's your beacon. Signal lights. Hazards. Let's turn on our regular lights. Get some back lights. And how about our reverse lights? Very nice. Everything works just perfect. By the way, guys, there is no errors in the log on both of these mods. So we'll just pull this guy on over here and we'll get a fill up. Should be enough in here. I do believe there's 30,000 liters. Oh, I got a terrible camera angle there. Yeah, 30,000 liters. So enough to fill this. Holds 13,500. Okay, we're filled. Yeah, look at those tires. Very nice. Okay, let's close up the top with the N key and we'll go find a field. If you're wondering where I got this tractor, it's a part of a DLC that, that I got when I uh, bought the game. But I suppose there is a mod of that. It's a, the cow edition. Okay, so let me bring up my toolbar here to make sure there's no added features. B key turns it on. I do believe that's it. And the N key opens up the cover. So let's turn it on. Look at that work with. Very nice. Be able to hire a worker? Yes, indeed. Oh, we got a little lag there. 
can hire a worker. Put three liters a second. Very nice. Nice work with. Get your field done in no time. Flat. So that was the new liter NL345 dry fertilizer spreader version 1.0. Okay guys, I'm over here in the uh, Timber King, or actually the Scorpion, and it looks like 8 meter logs are going to be a good length for that, it's almost perfect. So yeah, I was thinking that might have been 6 or 5 meters, but it seemed to be safe with the 8 meter cuts. So I'm going to time lapse this and get a few logs ready. Okay guys, I'm probably going to cheat here a little bit. I'm going to use my auto load trailer to fill this up just for uh, time purposes. Bring up my hut here. It's going to load from the left side. Let's see if we can get right in here. Very nice. Okay, let's load that up. And I'm going to see if I can drop them right into it. sit there a little bit. Okay, that's good. Good enough. Let's lock them down so they don't move. And it's going to unload from the left as well. So, let's just swing around here. Give us a little bit of room. I'm just trying to get super close to it, but I'm getting too close. Just so they don't fall on the ground. There we go. Should be alright. All right, let's give this a go. Take the straps off. Okay. And Z to unload. Hopefully they drop right in the back there. Beautiful. All right. Got one straggler there. Let's see if we can push it back on. Ah, well, we didn't need you anyway. Okay, can you put the straps on from here? No, you can't. Jump in our new holland, we'll lock them down, because you do got straps with the LP, you only get two there, but it works just fine. Look at this monster. I had a John Deere tractor to test this out, but I had a few problems with it, so just went with the new holland here. As you can see, that works just great. Oh, oh, oh. So, yes, once again, unfortunately, there is no auto load feature, but it's still a nice trailer, nevertheless. Oh, I'm very swervy. I think I might be uh, a little underpowered, perhaps, to pull this. Not too sure. Okay, it seems to be doing all right now. You just you want to take your time with this. It's very heavy. Anything with logs is pretty heavy. So guys, there you have it. That was the new Leader NL345 Dry Fertilizer Spreader version 1.0. Fall size for that was 24 megabytes. Then we took a look at the John Deere Timber Runner oh, oh, version 1.18. Fall size for that is 15.55 megabytes. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you could leave a like on your way out. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen. And I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help and contribute to the channel. It really helps out. So, until next time, take care and I will see you all in the next one.